Well, uh, while you're looking around in the past, I'm going to look around in the present. Uh, uh, makes sense. That works. Yep. Uh, I guess I'm going to take the house top to bottom. Start upstairs. Okay. Okay, you can start there, because I'm going to do the spell thing. Okay, time. Just to... I, I'm looking at the uh, size scale again, because I want to see if I can get like, the whole damn house in one. I, yeah, I guess if you increased scale to... A small warehouse or parking lot. Oh, a large house or building. Yep, that's that would do it. Okay, tits. Um. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, let's do Samuel first. Um, while you're doing that, because you'll be looking down downstairs for a bit, and then we'll get jump back to that. Uh, so Samuel, you walk up the very very creaky stairs. Um, yep. And uh. Make your way to the top. Oh, I should mention uh, also in in the living room and and the office and just kind of scattered all over. There are various sizes of like cages and some like chains and stuff. Oh, I'm just sort of scattered like around. Um, that's that's one of the other main features. Um, can't say I expected that. Yeah, it's like bird cage to like dog kennel. To human cage? Uh, I mean, you could fit a human in some of them. <laughs> they weren't um, built for humans, though. No. <laughs> okay. Um, but you you make your way up to the attic or the the, the second floor, um, which is uh pretty much it's like an it's a one sort of like long uh series of rooms. Um, the first one is. Uh, it all like sort of attic like with the slanted uh, ceiling uh, the first one that you step into has a um, a big thick uh, like uh, old sort of Persian rug thrown across seems oddly nice uh, for the um, environment that it's in and then uh, if you do, you peek through the far door, and it looks to be a, a fairly humble bedroom. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, and it, very just general like sort of furniture and stuff. Um, in the first room, there is a like a uh, a, a hutch with a bunch of like drawers and, uh, and cabinets. And mm -hmm. uh, a chest, uh, both of which are closed. Oh, the hutch has uh, glass uh, uh, panes in some of the cabinets, which are broken. And uh, you see various um, bits and bobs uh, within it. You glance inside, uh, just like um, uh, pieces of, of like small like animal bones. Um, you see a. Uh, a knife on one uh, in one of them. Um, a, a small like uh, a like a brain, uh, like a piece of crystal uh, carved into the shape of a brain. Huh. Like crystal skull, but crystal brain. Yep, the crystal brain. Nice. Yeah, that's definitely not a fight or anything. Um... Uh, a harmonica. <laughs> okay. What? A harmonica. What about it? There's a harmonica in the hutch. Oh, well, yeah. I, 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 sorry, I was gone for a second. I didn't hear. <laughs> I, was just, I wasn't upset about like a mystical harmonica or anything. I was just upset about there being a harmonica. <laughs> um, well, uh, looking around, does uh, does it look like you would have kept like a desk or papers anywhere? Uh, um, yeah, there's a de there's a desk downstairs. Ah, uh, right, that's right, in the office. But <clears throat> okay, so far on the upstairs, kind of like random everything. Uh, in in his room, I guess I will say there is some like um, there's some papers sort of strung up, uh, like attached to string and stuff, just sort of like hanging around. Oh sure. And um. They have a mix of like just sort of gibberish and uh, and like some symbols. I look like magical runes 
drawn, uh, sort of like hanging over his bed. Um, and looking at that stuff, uh, well, I are you gonna, are you using mage side at all here? Uh, I'm gonna start doing something like that eventually. I was just taking a look at my prime spells here to see what they do. Yep. But yeah, I guess mage side's a good place to start. Uh, it's wow, it's me, everything in the or like the hutch itself and uh, these like these pieces of paper and stuff. Uh, there's there's magic on a lot of this stuff. Right. Um, the chest is also got some sort of magic on it. Okay. Also, the house. Right. In general. <laughs> But also some specific things. Yep. Uh, so these pages that are hanging up have magic on them too. That's yeah. the kind of thing, actually. Um, they seem to be sort of woven together, like linked, as as if they're part of a uh, one spell. Oh, so the pages and uh, sorry, what were the other things? The chest and the hutch. Hutch. Huh. Well. Well, uh, we'll start out with Pierce Deception, I guess, to see if it's illusion magic or anything. All right. Um, yeah, so <clears throat> default duration, so Prime, got lots of reaches on Prime now, so uh, I'll just let's see. Four for Gnosis, four for Prime, um, one for the one thing. Uh, Oh, is Pierce Deception something that potency matters on sometimes? Uh, no, because it's a it's a clash of wills. Ah, okay, yeah, for to break through. Sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, I got. I'm gonna actually click through the buttons. I get it. Prime. Okay. Yep, I was just double checking that I had the spare reach um, for the symbolic whatever. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, four successes on that. Um, so I've got right. I got, got magic, magic wizard eyes for a week. Give me a clash of wills. Oh boy, <laughs> that's Gnosis and um, Prime. Gnosis right? and Prime, yeah. Good. Okay then. Uh, six <laughs> successes. Damn, nice. <laughs> All right, uh, let me just roll. Okay. Um, yeah, so like half of the stuff up here doesn't actually exist. <laughs> what? Uh, just, yeah, you know, like about half of the stuff is illusionary. Um, well, the crystal wait, wait, wait. skull is not real. Okay. Uh, the knife is not real. Basically, anything that looks um, nice is not real. Wow. Okay. Uh, half of the papers uh, are not real, including the ones with runes drawn on them, uh, which is probably meant to uh, make people misinterpret what they're for if they're just looking at them without trying to press through it. Right. Um, that carpet also doesn't exist. Okay. And, um, the uh, <laughs> Suddenly the sensation of squishy carpet goes away. <laughs> Yep, it, it was a very convincing illusion, like tactile and everything. Wow. Um, but yeah, underneath the carpet, there's this, um, what looks like a, um, there's like a pentagram that has been uh, carved into the wood, or, or maybe even burnt into the wood. Uh-huh. Uh, with like a wood burner. Wow. And you see like, um sort of fading around the edges as if someone drew with chalk around it quite frequently. 
Sure. Um, yeah. I mean, it, it could make sense that this guy be into summoning because he's got some minions. He has at least two Goetia in his permanent service. Yep. Um, yeah, so we'll bounce Let's back see. down to the, uh, the door and other Jericho. Oh, other Jericho is a Goetia? Yeah, you guys don't directly know that, but I mean, okay. he's... I mean, I would, I'm not going to... Yeah, I mean, he's a, he's a mind ghost, basically. Okay, see, I thought it was basically just some fuckery with... Here, I ripped out a little part of me, and there there he is. I mean, that, that's kind of part of how it is, yeah. Okay, so I'll... I'll even if even if I do end up knowing that, I'll still f think that way. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, yeah. So jump back to Gray downstairs. Uh, did you, I assume you succeeded at post cognition? I have. I'm gonna choose the thread now that I'm looking at it to go because it's to go back a month. Uh, it's minus six dice, but there's no two months. It's just a year. Well, the duration is um is based off of. It, that's like how much of a time chunk you can look at. You can go back super far. Okay. Wait, but it's just like like you you spe specify like a point and then you you see everything for the duration from that point. Okay, so I only need to cast it for the scene. I don't. Need I mean, but then you'd only have like a scene worth of time to. So if you say like if you go back a scene. Or you do a scene, and then you're like, all right, I want to look at this place a month ago. You'd have an hour time span from a month ago that you could look at. Whereas if you did it for a month, you'd have a month's worth of time span from, you know, like, where, whenever. So the, yeah, so I do want the month one, is what you're saying? It gives you a larger window to study, basically. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you, you could... You could go back 10 years you could go back one year you could go back five minutes it, that doesn't matter or it's listed by uh temporal sympathy but you you're you're good enough at time that it doesn't really matter to you okay so yeah like all i'm saying is that if i'm in the duration advanced duration one scene hour that's mm -hmm. that's all i would need but it's i only then have the hour to look at that month of time uh, no, the the opposite of that. Oh. You would specify an hour of time at a oh. certain point. Okay, gotcha. Which gotcha, you could gotcha. look at. For... Gotcha. Okay, but see now now I'm back to my thing of um I have it goes in a month or a year, so well, I'm gonna yeah. have to go to a year to get my two month span I want. And then if I'll... you want the two month span, then yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. So okay. Oh, it says it's withstood by temporal sympathy, so it's actually going to be potency that tells you how far back you can go? Yes, exactly. Uh, it, but it's a potency primary, right? Oh, sure, so no problem. So <laughs> it's default potency for. Yep. Right. Oh. So you, you can withstand even strong temporal sympathy. Okay, okay. So here we go. I'm going to choose the thread because, I, like I said, I'm going to need it. Because I'm only at four dice. Oh, am I even am I using willpower? Is that still checked from the last one? Oh my god, and that's with using willpower. Wow, this is this is hard. <laughs> Apparently, See, the entirety of of everything going on in, in the, the house. past year. Yeah, yeah, in the whole house. Okay, I assume uh, you're getting scrubbed too, or you can like yeah. rewind the password. Yeah, I'm at max reaches. Yep. Okay, so here we go. Four dice with choose a thread. Yeah, yeah. If you didn't scrub it, we have to sit there and watch it in real time <laughs> for a year. <laughs> for a year. Oh my gosh. I mean, I've got the time. I can just <laughs> go back in time like that never happened. You'd lose all the memories. I'd be fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let us know uh, how that goes. One success. One success. Yep. Okay. With um, four, looking at a enough, year. Yeah. All right, so you look at the past year, uh, and you did this entire house? Yep. Okay, so you can walk around the house and look at everything that has happened in the past year. Awesome. Um, Holy fuck. <laughs> That's too much okay. information. Yep, that is a lot of information. Uh, uh, Jericho I, has lived here. Yep. Uh, I, what information are you looking for specifically? Amadine. 
Are you still in the basement? Uh, I'm in the upstairs, yeah? Yep, you're in the, you're in the attic. Alright, I go to the attic. Okay. And I, you also took that the reach that lets you perceive your real surroundings as yep. well, I'm assuming. Yep. Okay. Oh, in that case, no, I'd be one over, so paradox chance. Okay. There is, yeah, is one over a chance, or is one over a real die? One over would be a chance. Okay, right. so... All right, no paradox. Okay, so yes. Now then, then yes, I I did take that because yeah, I wanted to be. Able <laughs> that would be to... very inconvenient for for you. Yeah, because yeah. I would just be walking. You couldn't alone. communicate with Amadine at all. Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, I go upstairs, I go to the attic. Amadine, all right, I've got the all sight. What do you? What do we want? What are we looking for? Uh, um, I'm assuming like you know, <clears throat> last time he was here. And then also maybe what caused him to flee here, if it's seeable. Yep. Uh, what else? And um, if he's got any secret hiding holes for like journals and notes and things, maybe. Okay. So yeah, I'll go. I'll go back three months. Okay. And I'll watch the month up to when he left. On fast forward. <laughs> yeah. And okay. I, and, sure. I, and, I'll, and I'll find him and I'll follow him. You know, so I'll yep. walk around the I'll walk around the house till I find him, and then then I'll follow his ass around. Okay, so he his routine of doing things, um, uh, is kind of random. Uh, he doesn't really seem to leave his house very much at all. Which is weird now that he's completely gone. Yeah. Um, most of the time, all he does is just like. He either sits uh, downstairs at his desk or, like, someplace and just, like, sort of writes things. Uh, sometimes he just, like, sits and goes into, like, some kind of trance. Um, it's probably, like, projecting to some different location. Um, sometimes he does leave, but the only time he, he does, it usually is via teleportation. So he just disappears. Yep. Um, and... Uh, the uh he he seems to uh talk to himself or other things that are around him um like maybe his house but it, it can can you discern or can you just see this, i can't remember if you can hear what's going on I, in the past i'd have to open up the i think bigger I'm not Let me, yeah, I can look at it, yeah. My quick stuff. See into the past. Uh, okay. We're witnessing events as though she were physically present to view them. View. Just, mm. It just says view. But also physically present, so... Damn. Do you think I could reach to get audio? Have we done that? Yeah, you can just... Yeah, it's just visual. Okay. Could I reach um, to get audio? Or could I lip read? Yeah, you could do a reach to get audio. Um, That's a real paradox, then? That would be two paradox dice. Yep. And then that is... Oh, two? Yeah. That's nasty. Then go ahead. <laughs> paradox me. Alright. No paradox. Hey. Um, okay, so he talks to himself a lot, uh, but it seems like he's talking to things that aren't there, um, or maybe things that are there that you can't see. That only he, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, there's definitely times when he's talking to his house, and the house does respond sometimes, but he's also, he also talks to, um, other things. Um, and... He does uh, do some several uh, instances of like summoning uh, okay. upstairs. Uh, you you can't see the the uh, the circle because he doesn't move the carpet that's not there. Okay. Uh, but you see, it's kind of weird because he's like drawing chalk onto this carpet, but there's no chalk <laughs> um, like marks. And then uh, when when he does it, they you know just like they just appear there. What the hell um, is he doing? <laughs> sometimes nothing 
visual even appears in the circle, but he starts like acting like there is something there. Um, so I mean, it's basically erratic behavior all the time. Yep. And nothing that has like looks like he's been triggered to do more erratic behavior. Not not as of yet. Okay. Okay. This is just his general yeah. sort of uh, routine. Okay. Um, so after that, uh, or you you get to a, finally get to a point where um, let's see. Uh, okay, uh, it's nighttime, and um, all of the like shutters start. Um, like rattling and stuff, uh, like like a, a stiff breeze, mm -hmm. and um, the uh, the house uh, kind of like the the door to his room like opens and slams a couple of times, and he like jumps up, uh, alert, and uh, the house says um, there is a problem, master, um, and Jared uh, says what what. Mm. Mm. Ooh, we got a problem. Yes. What's the date? What's the date? Uh, it is April third. April third. We got a problem, Amadeus. April third uh, was the same night that you guys went out to the uh, um the forestry museum. Forestry museum initially. Ooh. Ah. Um, and, uh, he, so he initially is like, yes, there, there's a problem, um, has caused this. No speaking, house. <laughs> we don't know who might be listening. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my god, the paranoid are always right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he... He goes over to That's back awesome. down to his desk, and like you see him looking out his windows a couple places, That's and right. starts like shuffling his papers around, and then he kind of like um, he seems to find one that he wants, and um, sort of looks at it, taps his thing. Uh, you can look over his shoulder; it is complete gibberish. Um, he's obviously just invented his own language to write everything in. This um, is, do I do I see? No. I was just like, do I see anything that I could use for like a it, key or a legend? No. Yeah, yeah, that's why, yeah. That's why I said no. This man is severely unhinged and incredibly paranoid. Yeah. Obviously. And he's got magic and has to defend <laughs> but, against magic. But, but he's right, so all of his yep. stuff is not <laughs> for zero. And, uh, after, um, after he looks at that page, he, uh, he just rips it into pieces. And kind of nods and says, oh, "Yes, it's happening again. Well, we'll be prepared this time." Uh, and uh, he goes back up to uh, his room, and you see him uh, take the uh, the harmonica, which uh, currently is on the hutch in current time. Yep. Uh, it's just laying on the floor in a corner. Um, in this, and he, he picks it up and kind of looks at it for a second and then puts it in the hutch, and then he goes down into the basement, uh, which you guys haven't been in yet. Okay, um, I go. Amadai, okay. going down. Look, so he, He's going down and following him. Gray yeah, starts semi blindly just walking down into the basement. Uh, well, there's actually a hatch uh, that goes into the basement, okay. and um, and I, I've been telling you, like, you know, like, kind of, like some commentary when important shit happens. Uh, when you go over to the hatch, uh, you hear some, like, rattling and stuff, and, uh, th it does not immediately open. Ugh. Um. Yeah, I'm... Blast this fucker open. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the door that he just went down? Uh, yeah, the, the hatch. Yeah, the hatch at present time doesn't open mm -hmm. easily. Uh, okay. There's, and... like, a... Is there, like, a lock, or is... Can I just like reef on a handle? Uh, you you pull on the handle. Uh, there doesn't appear to be a lock, but it resists opening. And uh, there's some like rumbling and uh, 
rattling, and uh, you hear the the house say, um, "That is not a place for visitors." Uh, Jericho. I cannot... Hmm. Yes. What? Can I go downstairs? Oh, sure. Why not? Thank you. I try to open it. Yeah, it opens up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, downstairs. Thank you, I... Thank you Jericho. <laughs> ah, yes, of course. Oh, uh, Jericho, can I go anywhere else I please in this house? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. So that's a yes? Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> The house sighs. I get this like wind run, like blowing like, through it. Yep. Like the blinds in the upstairs windows, like roll like their eyes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um. So you go down into the basement. Uh, now the basement has a um. A number of cages. Uh, these are large enough that they could fit humans. Oh. Um, Upgrade. Yep. This is where the good cages are. Mm. These are the brand names. Uh, there is also a um, a like a big uh, like steamer trunk up against one wall, and um, in the middle of the room, uh, there is a um, uh, it, it's like this sort of uh, like a large bowl, basically, like like a kiddie pool. Except for it's made out of wood, uh, like like a large bathtub kind of thing. Okay. Um, which in the present day is empty. Um. All right, but what the hell am I looking at? And uh, <laughs> Jericho comes down there, and uh, you see him uh, sort of. Uh, uh, it, it's it's full in in this yeah. current, in the past, full of water. Okay. And he, he kind of walks up to it and just sort of stares into it for, like, a couple of minutes. Oh, shit. And then... Has the, so the ley line hasn't even created... Just kind of, like, way. nods to himself and says, yes, it's happening. <laughs> well, I have to get notes. And uh, he, like, goes back upstairs, um, grabs several handfuls of... of papers seemingly at random from his uh all, desk all gibberish yep okay and uh then takes them downstairs and jumps into the bowl oh and he disappears and at, shortly after he does so the water just kind of like slowly drains into nowhere okay okay rewind rewind <laughs> uh okay um what does my mage site do what does your mage side do? Yeah. Uh, let's you see time and um, uh, oh, actually, I should be relevant to something. Because yeah, I turn that on now. <laughs> I mean, I suppose um, I should have had that. It on lets you see thing. time and uh, things that can be used as implements. I think. Yeah. So I guess pretty much. Eight. Yeah. After I see that this is a fucking portal, I rewind a right. bit and turn mage side on and you know look mm -hmm. around. You know, in the past and in the present. I'm, I'm trying right, to yeah. figure out where or what. Or... All right, so time reveals... Uh, That's a fucking portal. <laughs> ...initiative, and when a character... Um, you can see when people are, like, about to act uh, preemptively slightly. Okay. And you can also detect temporal warps and uh, someone and time travelers. Okay. Um, is that portal a temporal warp? Did he travel no, it's not. to a different to a time pocket, and that's why it's hard um, to find him? <laughs> with fate sight, you can see people who experience dramatic failure and success, and you can see destiny. Oh, um, that's big. But not the details of that destiny. You can see the presence of destiny and the use of destiny. Um, okay, so no, that doesn't apply to uh, this specific thing. Um, yeah, I mean, but if it was a portal to a time <clears throat> dimension, that would have worked. No, it, it is not a time portal. Okay. Uh, it is a another kind of portal. Fuck, we need cash. 
Yeah. Um, I know, right? There is a... Because uh... earlier we could have, like, co-located the two houses as a possible solution, but... <laughs> I mean, I think I think the route we're on is really good. Even if we had cash, it would still have been a good choice. But now that we're in, oh, we, I really wish we had them. <laughs> okay, so yeah, continue, sorry. Um, yeah, so uh, before he... Before he leaves, um, he takes a, um, what looks to be a, uh, he's, he's like rummaging around in, in this like pile of random stuff in the corner of his place, which you guys can see in real life. And, uh, he, um, pulls out a, uh, a like rusty, um, shovel head and, uh, just kind of like looks over it. Um, nods and then just like tosses it back into the pile of junk and then he just jumps into the thing. Okay. Uh, I find the thing he grabbed and tossed. Okay. Yeah, and in real life, I mean, it hasn't moved since then, so you, you find it pretty easily. Okay. So this was, and he, he looked at it, nodded. It's like a spade, yeah. And tossed it? Mm hmm. Okay. Back onto the ground. Okay. Weirdo. <laughs> and, and yeah, and then, and then nothing ever happened in the house again. Ever again until we showed up. Did I see us show up? Yep. Three times, no less. Three times. If you're looking out the windows, at least. Yep. Anywhere. Well, it's actually kind of hard to see uh, outside because that it's beyond the bounds of the spell. So you see, like, the vague shadows of you guys coming out. And I saw yeah. the... And we hear, we hear, like, the house is half of the conversation. Yep. And I saw the windows <laughs> break from the werewolves. Um, yes. Yeah, that happened, uh, about a week after Jericho left, actually. Okay. Alright. Well, I'll snap out of it. Well, I've got a year. I'll go back, I'll go back a year and just watch a day and see if there's anything significant. Alright. Pretty much more of the same, just like general stuff that I described before. Okay, yeah. He's I, just walking around I, doing his, his mage thing. Yeah, honestly, I was hoping for a percental roll <laughs> to see if there was like, oh, one day in the life? Fine, let's see. <laughs> but nope. Okay, cool. Uh, so I snap out of it and tell Samuel, all right, this is it. This is his exit point. And I don't know what the fuck he wanted with this, but he picked it up right before he left, gave it a little nod. <laughs> And tossed it down like a piece of shit. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, and then and, and I'll and I'll relay everything that you said, Ben. Like you know him okay. going through papers, and then all of a sudden, like oh, this has happened before, but this time we'll be ready. I need notes and stuff and things, and yeah. And then you know, ah, yes, that's where I need to go. Or did he say something like that? Does he did he know where he needed to go? Um. Or did he just? No, he didn't he say anything that he's like. He just was muttering about, like, ah, this just happened before, blah, 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 okay, blah. blah. Gotcha. And he just grabbed a bunch of notes and jumped in there. Okay. And he yeah, seemed I, to I have him. an idea of where he was going, but he didn't vocalize it. Okay. And I, yeah, tell Amadine that. And don't even try. These fucking notebooks are ridiculously stupid. Unless, <laughs> unless you can decipher crazy. <laughs> I would like to try. I mean, here, here's a lot. And then if you can, if you can figure it out, I'll bring you with me and we'll go look at what he took. If you can figure out what this writing is. Sorry, what are you pointing at when you say this writing? Uh, just all, like, uh, the papers that he grabbed from. Okay, just in general? Yeah, like, it, they all look like this. All his papers, all his notes are in his own crazy writing, like, language. So if you can figure it out good on you and then I'll bring you into the postcog and you can look at what he grabbed and it might be important oh uh by the way Samuel that the shovel head uh is magical yep I was gonna I was gonna get there but yes uh and same thing from the upstairs with your with your uh true sight stuff about half of the things that exist are illusions right and a lot of the illusions have like, um, like pretend magical auras, basically. <laughs> decoy. Well, they're just decoy. I, so, yep. Look at this fork that has a magical aura. It must be important. Yep. Oh sure. So like, 
mages that aren't prime mages get thrown for a loop. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's well, a- um... Oh, he's extremely paranoid. He knew uh, he knew someone was watching. <laughs> or, <laughs> I mean... If you just assume that someone's always watching. Yeah, you're probably right. At some <laughs> point in your life. Yep. Well, I mean, like... You are able to just go back in time and watch him do stuff. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, he's not wrong. I can watch almost anyone do anything. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As long as I'm older than them. Really, there's quite a lot of reason to be paranoid in this universe. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Hey, at least I can't go watch you go through puberty. Small mercies. <laughs> uh, Alright, Prime, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think I'm like 30 and you're like 60, so the farthest I can go back is to your 30s. Well, you can, you can uh, postcog back as far as you want. Oh, okay, it's I can only actually try time travel. That being said, you'd need to sp- pick a specific place, so yeah. Yeah. you'd have to know. Yeah, right, right. You'd have to live in this place for 30 years and never leave. I mean, I'm sure you could do it, but it seems like a lot of effort for no real reason. Other than a weird flex. Yeah. <laughs> so, what are you guys doing next? Um, well, we do have, like, f- full reign of this place now. And the door, the, the house did seem kind of upset that he let us go everywhere which lets me believe there's more places to go um as you guys talk the uh the chains on the wall kind of like snake and slide around and uh they they rattle in a way that makes uh, a voice and it says um just so you know if you try to take anything i will destroy you yes yes no no takey only only lucky Rattle, rattle, rattle. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Right, so, um... We honestly don't want anything from here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but like, uh, um... We're just trying to find... You said he thing. did something to the shovel, and then... He just looked here. at it. Yeah, th- th- there, I will, yeah. I, I will act it out. Yep. <laughs> and I just he, I he studied it. both sides seemingly with great scrutiny and then just tossed it over his shoulder. There, that's what he did. Yeah. Okay. I mean, obviously he did something that I'm missing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean I, I will point out that uh unless you use a tool, m- magic is totally without uh like Oh, um, indicators. Over indicators, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You only do I mean, most of the time you use a tool, but... Yeah, you only do it if you want to. The whole, oh, I'm casting a spell! Yeah. <laughs> Tell yeah. us, but not necessary. Yeah, yeah, like the candles and chanting and magic words, yeah. Yeah, rituals yep. are, I guess, the exception. Only for stabilization. Yeah. Uh, you get bonus dice. <laughs> if you want to go all, you know, that with it. <laughs> then, yeah, if it's for, for bonus. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Uh, I'm a little bit at... Uh, for all the Pierce Deception and stuff I've done so far, I'm not really sure how... Like, to find out what a magic thing is. Oh, like, like examine... A, uh, yeah, like, like, uh, um, I, um, like in Dungeons and Dragons, you could like cast identify, right? Right. Um, and I've got one that's similar, which is Word of Command. Uh, S- Supernal Vision, uh, works. And then also on objects too. I will. Say. Oh, okay. And also because can... you can determine uh, whether a location is a, a domain or a verge, or an object is imbued, enhanced, or an artifact. Um, ah, okay. Yep. Sorry. That's 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 
Sure. What you would be looking for. Yeah, I was just looking at the bullet point questions, and it's like, oh man, these are all about questions about people. Uh, yeah. And you can also uh, make up a spell. Cre mm -hmm. Create create Dungeons and Dragons identify. <laughs> right. <laughs> I have to figure out how that would work exactly, but yeah. Yeah. Well, there's a there's a spell that's sort of similar to it. Word of command on that same page. It's just like we're just gonna skip the whole identify step and open sesame. Oh yeah. The word magic item activate. Oh yeah. You can just be like, nah. I do the thing. I do the thing. Um, but without knowing what the thing does, I don't want to just do that. Yeah, it's, it seems reckless. Yep. <laughs> and a supernal vision is your is your go to like magic analysis spell. All right. Well, we shall have to do that then. Um, uh, primary factor potency. Oh, get out of here. Um, um, choose a thread. Also, you got it. Oh sure, why not? Well, you don't really need enhanced duration because it's just a it's like a one time pulse kind of thing. Oh sure, yeah. The potency determines how many questions you get. Uh, right. I should just read the spell more closely. <laughs> yeah, I always like finish reading halfway through it. I'm like, okay, cool. I know what it does. Well, yep. not enough. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> you just you you study a person. I suppose if you increase the duration, you could just keep doing that, um, like because it takes one turn to study a person, place, or thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, improved duration would be useful. Like multiple uses. Yeah, because you it just takes a round to like ping the uh, the target and learn sure. about them. Uh. Sure. Cool. And then, uh, just because I got a spare reach lane around, I'll do the, the one at the bottom there. Yeah, you feel the nature of supernatural beings and effects. So, maybe I'd be able to even see a Goetia of a house. Non-magic based stuff. Yeah. Oh! Oh, I see. I see. Okay, that reach is for... Is it a vampire? Yeah, yeah. Is it a werewolf? Is it a werewolf? All right, all right. Neat. Neat. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, nine dice. Here we go. Spending a reach for a scene. All right. Um, three successes. Okay. So, yep. You activate supernal vision. Uh, what are you? What are you looking at? Uh, I'm gonna start with the ball where the water was. Okay. Um. Um. It is just a ball. Okay. Cool. Probably a material component used in casting a spell, if you had to guess. Sure. It's just like a a prop. Oh. Yep. Um, what did did I see the ley line get created? Uh, you didn't see any overt signs of that, but it, I know when it happened it, it it happened when you guys awakened so yeah. that's probably what tipped him off that something happened because he just got a mind ley line slapped down across his house yeah all right <laughs> but, oh I, yeah like you said no over signs that all of a sudden yep. ley line formed mm -hmm. okay whereas uh, Weston could have seen it yeah next up is the shovel i guess okay um <laughs> that is a soul stone Oh, <laughs> not something that one should leave around. Uh, and what's that? That's, that's a soul a stone of who? It's uh, um. Well, so you, you can examine the nimbus of the person in there. Right. I, I, um, yeah, I guess that's what I'm asking, really. So the nimbus is. Uh, let me. I'm pretty sure I have this somewhere. Okay. Um. Oh, so he went when, to an ally. When you examine the Nimbus, it's sort of like um, you're shaking off just like a haze of like black dust, and uh, it gives you kind of a sense of vertigo. Ah, uh, 
Right. That's not at all like other Jericho at all. <laughs> no. No, not at all. <laughs> so. What are you talking about? So if that's a soul stone, that is the strongest link to someone else that you could have. Yeah, uh, correct. So he teleported to them? No, it's a soul stone for Jericho. It's, it's his soul stone, yeah. Wait, so he used his own soul stone to teleport somewhere? I mean, I'm not sure what he did to it. He just looked at it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, it would uh, maybe let him cast spells better in his own house. Okay. Uh, you can use your soul stone as a, uh, a tool. Oh, okay. To cast. Yeah, I, I was like linking the teleport with the item because it was the last thing he did. So I thought he he, was... he could have used the soul stone as a tool, right. To cast a spell. Um, right. No. Not as a destination, but more as the power source. Yeah. yeah. I, I got yeah. It just took me. A but yeah, you got a little fragment of of his uh, his soul on your hand there. Wow. Now we really need cash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The house, uh, is, the house is not going to let us take it, it's obvious. But, what, uh, how hard is co-locate? Oh, wait, no. Is that is that the teleport to someone? That's a portal. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And what, what, what spell level is that? <laughs> um, that is three dot space. <sighs> Alright. I could do it. Sorry, what? <laughs> I can, I can be, I can be cash. For oh, by I can be cash for an hour if you need. By rewriting history. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, rewriting history. You were born as a space mage instead. Mm -hmm. I'll, 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 I'll uh, substitute space yeah, for uh, fate because I've got three in fate. Yeah, you can't, you can't change your path, but you can change your. Uh, like experience uh, allotment. Oh, so instead of upgrading is okay, sure. Although um you your minimum fate is two dots. That's what you started with, right? Right. So you you can't fully undo that cuz it's a requirement for you to be an acanthus. Oh. You could take your mind dot and the matter uh, dot Right. And a matter dot, yeah. Okay, so I drop to yeah, I take I take one mind, one matter, one fate, throw those three into space, co locate, boom. One mind? Yeah, that's or sorry, I don't know why I said mind. I meant um time. <laughs> one one time, one uh one fate and one matter. Yep, that would probably work. Um, if you'll allow that, I would pitch, me pitch that see. to Amidine that I can I can really fuck with some shit. That's um that's that's certainly a trick there. Yeah. I mean I'm kinda thinking like now hear me out. Alright. It's gonna take a lot of reaches. Yeah. That maybe I should do it to you and turn you into the temporary cash because if shit goes wrong, I can fix it easier on you. <laughs> like if you... <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. Nah, and changing the past in this way would lead us to the same present, would it? I hope so. You right. choose how yes. it happens. Yes, I I choose what to leave alone and what to what to alter. It's not a permanent rewrite of history, so it's it's um it's allowed to be flexible. Yeah, it's a little bit more flexible. It can't it can't be permanent. Well, I, I guess you could make it permanent with uh with like the mana. Really, really freaking hard to do with ways, but my yeah. God. Like, ah. It's not a duration primary, so. Yep, I'm done. I'm done being this. Like minus person. ten dice, and then all the reaches. So. Um, all right. Uh, so I'm on the spell helper. How do I build this? So you need. Um, I think we talked. We talked about this before because yeah. the the reaches down here it is it's skill or attribute. Um, so. 
you would need to spend two reaches to affect a super supernatural creature because you're you know, mage stuff. Okay. <clears throat> um, and then one reach and a point of mana to affect uh, Arcana. So it would be three reaches and a point of mana just to get the effect you want. And then the regular 